Hello, hello, and welcome back to another banknote. And uh, yes, this is still from Africa, but either way. And I gotta say, this one is definitely not my favorite. Um, I'm not sure how nice I should be here, but well, I guess I should be honest. It is sort of a review thingy, so um, this looks awful. Really awful. Uh, well, let's talk about it, I suppose. So it is from the Sayer. I'm guessing, is this French or Portuguese? Not sure. But either way, the Sayer, so Africa, yes. Um, so the background, or most of the background here, is this weird pattern in. I don't know, it looks a little bit green here and there, some brownish. It, I don't know. I remember uh, an activity I did from my day job once about mixing colors and the word they used for something was yucky. And I think that word describes these colors pretty well. Uh, yucky colors. Sorry, but well. Yeah. Then we have this pattern, which I don't find that interesting at all. Other banknotes have had much more interesting patterns than this. Also the colors again, kind of orange, green. Yeah, not for me, not for me, sorry. Um, well, the bank down there, the 10, um, I'm not sure if this is the currency in Sayer. No, the Makuta. Although Makuta sounds kind of interesting. So, well, I'll give it half a point for that. But anyways, um, still the background. I don't know, orange, green, brownish. Ugh, no, no thanks. Uh, over here, I guess this is more or less the only thing I like. Um, flowers, plants. Not sure if the background is supposed to be seeds of some sort. I'm thinking coffee, but really just guessing here. And what I'm guessing would be uh, elephant tusks, which I guess is not actually a good thing, but still, I would say this is more or less the only thing I like on this banknote, at least on this side. So, yeah. Uh, what does it say here? Hotel? Is uh, I don't know. A motel. This looks like a, a chimney from a factory. Those look like pyramids. Do they have pyramids in Sayer? I don't know. Never heard about that. Just some kind of random buildings. Don't know. But why the beep it's on this banknote I have no clue I mean maybe it's famous for something but still it just looks so bleh well anyways um, and I th think up here says something about kind of fitting this banknote I guess is punishable by something penal servitude Either way, you go to prison, I guess. And then this... Well, I guess I like this a little bit. Doesn't look too bad. Maybe the colors could have been better, but... Still, interesting design. And here in the background... Um, some dude with glasses and... A hat. I'm thinking something military. Could be a dictator. But honestly, don't know. But still, nothing that redeems this. Anyways, let's take a look at the other side. Ah, here's the same dude again. So, I would say this is a little bit better. We still have this design, the governor's signature, serial number, and then this. So we have the dude, but this time we can actually see him. Still don't know who that is. But definitely something army, military, based on that hat. 10NK, 
this is also what a coat of arms of sorts. What is that? A jaguar in the middle, spears and whatnot. And it says something that I can't really make out. But yeah, I do like the colors here. More green is definitely nice. And this pattern here in the background, compared to the other side, this is a lot better. Kind of looks like there's an explosion behind the tin, like poof, coming out. So that I do like. Uh, it's from 1993, so they may have renewed this since. So on the way, Bank of Sayer, um, Jaguar, Leopard. I'm not entirely sure. Either way, it's a cool cat that I do like. So yeah, I would say the other side, pretty much a complete failure, whereas this is acceptable. I don't normally give grades, but I would say the other side is uh, out of a 10, 1 or 2. This one, probably around a 7 or so, but yeah. I guess that's about it. I should have spent more time on this side than the other one. This is definitely more positive. I like the kind of yellow here also. So yeah. Anyways, they should have done something like this on both sides. That would have been much better. But anyways, uh, thank you for listening to me ramble about this one, and uh, until next time, bye-bye.